do I not have ad blockers on? The answer is no, I don't. That was good, though. I liked that. Um, yeah, I haven't been going for too long, so we'll do another one. We'll do another one. Why not? I still don't think I'm allowed to play this music. So if it cuts to not music and people walking around, I'll play it. Storm safety tips brought to you by Harbinge Technologies. Cute. Storms can be violent and dangerous. In this cassette, you will learn how to protect you and your family when a severe storm hits your home. There we go. Now you can see it better. Part one, prepare in advance. Usually how that goes, yes. You do not want to get caught in a storm unprepared. To prepare your home in case of a storm, follow these steps. Step one, reinforce your home. This may involve improving structural support, replacing roof shingles, or fixing any possible leaks. So far, so good. Step two, install an early warning system. This will allow you to know beforehand if a storm or other danger is approaching your home. Ah, uh, yes. Recommended albedo alarm from Harbinge Technologies, the people who made this. So far, so good. Step three, create a storm bunker. Uh, make sure the bunker matches the following measurements. That's oddly specific. Why? Create a concrete foundation at least eight inches thick. Um, in the center of your bunker, install a large aluminum hemisphere. For why? Place a shortwave radio next to the hemisphere. Recommended from Harbinge Technologies, of course. Uh, within four to five feet. Only turn on the radio in event of an emergency. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this doesn't sound like they're prepping for a storm. This sounds like they're prepping for an apocalypse. What to do in a storm? hits your home it is important to follow these steps quietly take your oh no everything is breaking hold on everything is breaking again Gonna be scared because I keep getting pulled out of it because of my I go at some point.
Oh. Okay, I think I fixed it. I think I got it. I think we're good. I don't know. Can you hear me now? So much for spoopy ambiance. Okay. We're back. We're back. It was, uh, fun fact, apparently my computer is like, you can only plug in one thing at a time. Okay, cool. Thank God I did this on stream, and then I can just edit this out in the YouTube video. <laughs> cool, okay, thank you to everyone who stuck with me through that. Sorry. Um, let's get back into the video um how do i just pick up <laughs> off of this i'm gonna turn off my desk light so now i'm sitting oh my god it's actually really dark in here what the heck okay if i get jump scared i'm gonna freak out just so you know um Okay, turn on the shortwave radio. Ignore all sound produced by the radio. These are auditory hallucinations. Why would you have the radio then? Remain calm. Your tears are filled with salt. Yes, that is how that works, but why is that important? Part three, after a storm. Again, this doesn't feel like a storm. This feels like an apocalypse. If you believe the storm is past, carefully leave your bunker to survey for damages. Okay. If your house has been severely damaged, check for movement inside. Okay, so I'm not that far off with the apocalypse thing, is what I'm hearing. Do you hear the chime? You are safe. The storm has passed over. Chime of what? Look to the field. What field? Do you see lights? Return to your bunker. What field? Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate this. The corn field. The corn. It's angry. <laughs> I'm not very good at staying scared. I just make things funny. Listen. under your feet for what crawling through the floor you know what i live in a dorm so like listen under your feet i'm just like yeah the people downstairs are annoying thank you for reminding me congratulations you are now well equipped to defend yourself and your family against storms that was not a storm that was an apocalypse event that is a, that is called a mass extinction event if i've ever heard of one and or the alien invasion when it finally happens. I say, knowing I don't believe in extraterrestrial life. Whatever, not the point. The point is, I don't know. I don't think I can say that on Twitch. <laughs> I'm not very good at staying scared. I'm literally sitting in a dark room, um, quite frankly, not being scared. 